Okay, the next taping is an X taping for the wrist. This technique provides moderate support and limits excessive flexion or extension when preventing and treating sprains, TFCC injury, fractures, and dislocation. Uh, for this taping, you're going to need some pre-wrap, some one and a half inch tape. You're also going to need some uh, tough skin if you want to, um, if you need to adhere the pre-wrap a little bit better. So you would spray on the individual. Okay. Again, on this one, you want to make sure that she has the finger spread. Uh, you want to apply the pre-wrap first, starting at the the wrist, going around the hand. Okay. You can kind of do a figure eight like we just did. Okay. And then just go up, up the forearm a little bit, maybe halfway up the forearm. Okay, and then I'm going to anchor that down on the top. And then down on the wrist of the hand, we want to make sure when we put this one around the hand, uh, you want to fold. Put a fold so uh, it doesn't pinch the webbing of the thumb. Okay, so we have our top anchor and our bottom anchors. Now this one can, um, if the athlete comes to you and says that you wanted to prevent hyperextension, pain with hyperextension, then you would taper in slight uh, flexion of the wrist. If she tells you that the pain is caused when you uh, flex the wrist, then you would need to tape, taper in neutral or um, hyperextension of the wrist uh, to prevent the, the pain. Um, some athletes, you may need to do both. Um, I'll demonstrate both on this one. Um, so with this one, uh, what you can do is measure the tape. Uh, you can do this on the patient or I'll do this on the table. You're going to do a X, form an X pattern just like we did on the, the elbow and the foot, measuring from the top to the bottom. You know, I like to do four, one straight, and then the X. So there's my X pattern that I made, and I would attach this uh, to the upper part first. See how good that is, and then again I would test it before I apply it. If that's not good enough, then I would hyperextend a little bit more, reattach it see how if that's more effective okay and then again I'll have her spread her fingers uh, make a fold in the thumb and then come around if I were to finish this uh, right now preventing the hyperflexion I would uh, close this up but I'm gonna also prevent hyperextension which goes on the palmer side again measuring from the top to bottom, ripping it, making another X pattern. Just like we did on the dorsal side. Again, I would attach this on the forearm first to see if it's And again, if I were just to preventing hyperextension, then I would test this, hold it, and have her hyperextend. If it's not good enough, then I would shorten it, test it before I attach it. So have her spread. Again, pinching the thumb. And then when you're done with this, if you want, you can do a figure eight. Some people find this to be a little bit helpful. And 
and then just close on the forearm. Again, throughout the whole time, ask the athlete if it's too tight. When you're finished, you can check the functionality, have her hyperextend, hyperflex, check circulation, sensation. And again, if it's tight in the thumb, you can cut the little slit in the thumb.